welcome to my Lambretta Christmas special. We've got lots of things in store for you, like me not being able to play for one. But maybe we'll go along and play around with some Lambrettas for a while. Let's go. Hi there, welcome back to another one of my videos. Hope everybody had a really good Christmas. Uh, it's Boxing Day today, and uh, I'm chilling out in my garage. So I thought I'd do a little piece today on uh, cooling, Lambretta engine cooling. So now your normal Lambretta is air cooled. Obviously there's some liquid cooled ones around, but not many. So it's air cooled and let me drag you over a little bit so you can see. Okay, so what we've got is we've got a fan here that sucks the air through the center, blows it out to the sides and around and then it's forced over the cylinder so what I do is first of all change the uh, the cowling cover let's try and get this cowling out without disturbing the camera so first of all cut out this center straight away this is just obstructing airflow into the engine then this is actually flat on the top originally, so this you need to dome. This dust cover, you dome it, and you literally turn it turn it around and just tap it with a hammer on a cloth or something, and, and just dome it over. That aids the flow over and into the fan, right? Okay, now we're around the other side. We can see the, the cover, the cylinder cover. You have, this is the cutout for the exit of the air flow that's coming over your cylinder now really if you look here at the cylinder head the horizontal ones are getting some flow that's coming over there but the ver all your all your face fins that are around the front it's almost completely closed off around there so that means there's hardly any flow over the top fins at all so that's really overheating your engine where the most of the heat is generated from the top of the fins so if we take this off most of the heat comes into these top fins around the center the center part is the hottest part so you need massive flow over this part of the cylinder cylinder head and unfortunately you don't because when this when the cylinder head covers on it comes right up to this edge and it's literally sealed off it's cutting close this and not letting any air pass through it so that's really bad so the other thing you can do is you can modify this cowling and literally cut it away here and then recurve the lip and allow some airflow over the top of the cylinder head that helps a bit otherwise the best way to go to get rid of all this tin junk and put some decent covers on that actually work okay we're back around the other side now so what I've done is I've just dropped on one of my covers that's got a bell mouth on the front to flow the air into the into the flywheel better and it actually runs much closer to the flywheel on the inside so therefore you're creating more suction if there's a gap between the fins and the cover then you don't get the correct suction and you don't flow so much air through. This increases airflow. So that's my cover, one of my covers that I've designed. Because I'm running here in Spain, everything is about heat. We get up to 40, 42 degrees in the summer, and it is baking. You really, I mean, an air-cooled engine suffers really bad. You'll lose four or five brake horsepower when it gets when the engine starts to get too hot. Okay, now on the other side, I've uh, also changed the flywheel cover, I mean the cylinder head cover. Okay, as you can see with my fiberglass cover, I've actually cut away here on the fiberglass to allow the flow over the top part of the fins. So now you've got air that's being forced around, it's actually passing over the top of the head instead of being blocked. And this is completely open to allow the maximum air flow through. You don't need to cover this at all. You need to have big area 
over here for for the for the air to escape because we're going to be pumping around a lot of airflow over this cylinder so that's how it looks when it's on with the dome center obviously if you're running different flywheels like a uh, casa or sip you don't have that domed center cover but you still have the bell mouth and the suction into the center actually i should think about making some center covers to go onto the uh, casa ignition and onto the sip ignition to increase the airflow into the into the fan well maybe that's a job for the future but this is basically what i do with the covers to increase airflow and the difference is quite substantial okay don't forget to uh, subscribe hit the little bell and give me plenty of likes as well if you enjoyed the video and a merry christmas to everybody